China's development of extra-large uncrewed underwater vehicles, XLUUVs, has become one of the most consequential advancements in maritime military technology in recent years. As of 2025, there is clear and measurable progress in both the scale and sophistication of these platforms, and their appearance in preparation for official military display signals a turning point. These are not conceptual models or theoretical projects, they are physical systems, developed over several years, and now being prepared for formal integration into military structure. This shift is significant because it suggests that China's undersea strategy is evolving toward large-scale, unmanned operations with potentially global reach. Two of the most recently identified XLUUVs are differentiated by size, hull form, and apparent purpose. The first carries the designation AJX002 and is approximately 18 to 20 meters in length. It features a cylindrical body, estimated to be about 1 to 1.5 meters in diameter, and includes external hardware indicating modular construction. The inclusion of lifting lugs in hull segment joints suggests this vehicle is designed to be transported and assembled in sections, likely for ease of deployment or reconfiguration depending on mission requirements. This method of design reflects an industrial approach to manufacturing and maintenance, pointing toward serial production capability rather than limited prototype use. The second XLUUV, while similar in length, is visibly larger in diameter, approximately twice that of AJX002. Its more robust frame implies greater internal space, which could be used for larger energy storage, expanded mission payloads, or additional computational systems. The rear control surfaces follow an X-form rudder configuration, which offers improved handling in complex or variable underwater currents. This design choice is not common in smaller drones or traditional submarines, and indicates a focus on refined maneuverability in dynamic operating environments. Both vehicles utilize pump jet propulsion, a modern and efficient system that reduces acoustic signature compared to traditional propeller-based designs. This is important for stealth, as it allows the vehicle to operate more quietly, critical in regions where surveillance and detection systems are advanced. The low noise profile also supports roles such as reconnaissance, route mapping, or covert long-range missions, which may not require regular communication with central command. This autonomy is a central feature of modern XLUUV design, the ability to travel vast distances, follow pre-programmed instructions, and return data or perform actions without live remote control. The inclusion of these vehicles in preparations for a formal state military parade, especially one marking a major historical event, is a strategic message. These events have historically been used by the Chinese military to unveil new technologies, signal capability improvements, and demonstrate confidence in new systems. Their inclusion here implies that these XLUUVs have passed rigorous internal assessments and are ready for either deployment or at least fleet-level integration trials. It also suggests that Chinese naval doctrine has formally expanded to include large, autonomous undersea systems as a routine part of force planning. Beyond these two units, Another major development involves an even larger uncrewed undersea platform measuring approximately 45 meters in length. This platform, which differs from the previously mentioned types, lacks a traditional sail and appears to follow a different design philosophy. Its scale implies an endurance and payload capacity well beyond that of smaller models. The absence of a sail could indicate an optimized, low-profile design for extended submerged operation, or it could suggest that the vehicle is intended for a different kind of mission profile entirely, possibly involving oceanographic data collection, persistent surveillance, or coordination with other unmanned systems. China has pursued XLUUV development with an intensity not matched elsewhere, at least not at the same scale. While other nations have developed comparable systems, the Chinese program is notable for its range of designs, the pace of iteration, and the integration with broader naval objectives. Multiple types have been under trial for years, and the consistency of testing activity in coastal regions, paired with the emergence of larger, more refined units, demonstrates sustained focus and funding at the national level. This development does not occur in isolation. China's expanding maritime interests, including the desire to operate further from home waters and to control key shipping lanes, requires tools that are capable of operating independently and covertly. Ex Luovs, provide a solution to several challenges posed by these objectives. They reduce risk to human life, can be operated from land or non-traditional launch platforms, and provide a persistent presence below the surface that is difficult for adversaries to monitor or counter. Unlike manned submarines, they can operate with less logistical support and in roles that are tactically expendable but strategically valuable. 
China's pursuit of multiple XLUUV models simultaneously reflects a systems-based approach to undersea warfare. Rather than focusing on a single general-purpose drone, China appears to be developing specialized platforms that can serve distinct roles, some optimized for endurance, others for speed, maneuverability, or payload. The advantage of this approach is that it allows task-specific deployments and more effective use of industrial resources. From a military planning perspective, it also allows redundancy and adaptability in the face of changing operational conditions. From a technical standpoint, these XLUUVs likely include a mix of inertial navigation, passive sonar arrays, communication buoys, and onboard processing for real-time decision-making. Given China's significant investments in artificial intelligence and autonomous systems, it is likely that these vehicles use some form of embedded decision logic that allows them to react to environmental changes or mission developments without direct command. The extent of their autonomy is not fully known, but the trend in modern naval robotics is toward greater mission independence, especially for long-range or high-risk operations. The potential applications of such systems are broad. They may be used to map the seafloor, monitor specific maritime regions for activity, gather acoustic intelligence, serve as communication relays, or support manned vessels by extending situational awareness. In more direct military terms, they could act as decoys, deliver payloads, or even block access to strategic maritime routes through passive presence or active engagement. Their flexibility and relatively low cost compared to manned submarines make them attractive tools for naval planners looking to enhance reach and resilience. China's XLUUV developments are more than technological experiments. They are the product of sustained research, consistent testing, and deliberate strategic planning. The diversity of platforms now visible, combined with the readiness to present them publicly, signals a shift in how China intends to operate beneath the waves. These systems mark the beginning of a new phase in naval power, one defined not just by ships and submarines, but by autonomous machines capable of shaping the underwater domain with precision, persistence, and minimal risk to human operators. This is not a speculative future, it is a present reality, and one that is already beginning to reshape undersea dynamics in key regions.